Yeah, yeah, I expected a tough fight. A tough fight is what I got. Um, yeah, a tough, close fight. I prepared for it. I worked hard, and uh, yeah, it all, it all paid off. And especially at the end, you came with a rush at the end, didn't you? That probably swayed the fight. Do you think? Yeah, that's it. I finished strong, and yeah. you know, so that's sometimes what what can make the difference. Uh, who's who's finishing the fight the strongest when it's a really close fight? You know, sometimes it's uh, who's finished stronger that that will maybe get the the nod, and in, in this case, that's what happened. So yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, it would be good. I, I, to be honest, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna totally rely on it. Um, I, the Singapore fans um, looked like they enjoyed it. Um, that's exactly what I came to do. Put on a good fight. Win, or, win, lose or draw, I didn't want it to be boring. I, I just wanted to put on a, a good fight for the fans. And yeah, like I said, I've got another kid on the way. I've got four. I'm got, or I'm gonna have four. It's my partner's birthday today, so if I got the bonus, I, I could uh, spoil her at the airport. And we're, we've been engaged a while as well, so if I got a bonus, I'd probably go home and uh, plan the the wet. Finally, plan plan the wedding. So. It felt like this was a very pivotal fight for you at the moment in this career. Did you kind of feel that way? Uh, what, sorry? When we talked before, we kind of talked about how this was a pivotal fight in your career. Did it kind of feel that way for you? Yeah, I knew it was an important fight. It was like, you know, I felt like it was all or all or nothing type fight. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people were surprised that I got Michael Johnson. Obviously, I lost my last fight. Um, so did he. But he's a big name. Um, so... I'm, I'm just thankful, uh, Dana White, um, Sean Shelby and everybody at the UFC, thanks for, they obviously believe in me, um, to, to give me a big name like him and they obviously knew it was going to be a good fight and that's the way it turned out, so f thank you, thank them um, and yeah, I'll pay it off. Right, and obviously uh, Johnson came to fight, you both threw down uh, in the three rounds. Was there anything that he did that you thought, you know, uh, it, it was surprising for you, maybe, during the fight? Uh, to be honest, no. Um, nothing really surprised me. We knew he was going to be fast. We knew he was going to move his feet and we knew he was going to box. Um, and he throws occasionally, occasional kicks. Um, so, no. Uh, expected kind of everything that happened. Right. So, uh, again, Johnson, as you said, is a big name. This is a very big win for you. What do you think is next for you in the UFC? Uh, yeah, it's a big win, big name, um, and I proved that I can hang in there with you know big names. And he's not on, he's not the only big name I've beat. I beat Joe Lozon. Um, Joe Lozon just fought recently, proved that you know a lot of people maybe thought he was done, you know, on a little bit of a slide, but he had a big win. Uh, I think maybe last week. Um, yeah. yeah, and he looked he looked in, he looked really good. So. Um, yeah, and obviously the other big name, Pearson. I've been in there with guys, Leonardo Santos, Felder, um, and now Michael Johnson. So I believe that that's uh, put me in the mix. Right. And what's next for you? Are you going to go back home, take a couple of weeks off, or just going to get back into the gym and train? Uh, to be honest, I wasn't sure. Like, I don't like pre-planning stuff because you never know what's going to happen. Like, I've got a big huge kind of cut on my head a little bit um, it's been stitched to be honest if, it just depends like see if, if I, I'm a guy that I'm one of those guys uh, and hopefully the UFC know this and see this I will fight any man anywhere anytime any place um, you know if, I, if I'm uh, even next week the UFC you know if I was medically fit um, and something happened there was a pull out I'd go for it um, I, I, I'm a guy that likes to take opportunities like like this was, um, but realistically, I'll probably go home. It's my partner's birthday today. Um, I didn't get a chance to celebrate that with her, so I'll go back, um, show her some love, and yeah, spend some time. I probably owe it to my kids as well. Like this has been a long fight camp, about 12, 13 weeks I've been training. Um, because midway through I, I competed on Polaris, I got a, a good win on that as well. So yeah, it's been a good, uh, yeah, just, I'm going to enjoy it now, I'm going to get a pizza tonight, probably a few drinks and yeah. 
Right, so one last question for me. Um, what do you think about the reaction from the fans after the uh, verdict was announced, after the decision was announced? Uh, well, I didn't hear it. From what I remember, I didn't hear anybody booing. Um, there probably maybe was, but I just heard um, everybody cheering. But, you know, when I, when I was like, kind of putting my hands up, I heard a big roar. Uh, I asked them on the mic, did you like that fight? So regardless of the decision, um, you know, there was maybe some guys that wanted Johnson to win and disappointed or whatever, it was a close fight. But at the end of the day, it was a good fight from what I remember and yeah they seem to enjoy it so that's the main thing it's spectator sport isn't it so um, yeah thank you, thank you.